My name is Janice Barnes. I am from uh, Northeast Alabama, a little town. I'm retired. We do actually have an eBay store where we refurbish flutes. I play flute. We have a old rock and roll band. Uh, we play out once in a while. Mostly it's um, therapy for us these days. I was a bank teller, so I toted around 40 pound bags of money in high heels for a lot of years. The doors are incredibly heavy, you know, it's just it's too much for someone my size, really. But I had moved on to armored car, so it's about the same thing. I was just managing people counting money. So I got in a big hurry one morning to get down some steps, and uh, my dog was in a hurry to go with me and knocked my feet out from under me. Going down to the basement, I went flying in the air about three steps down. I mean, I was probably five foot in the air and landed smack, square on my tailbone. Um, I knew I was in a lot of pain, but I had a big deal at work that morning. All the big fellows were coming in from out of town to bring my branch a new computer system. So I sat there and cried a minute, and then I got up and went to work. It wasn't until a few weeks later I went to the doctor, and the play of that site was so sore they couldn't even get I couldn't let them touch it to look at it. I probably had a softball size bruise, purple, you know. I could not sit. I, standing was better than sitting, but I could not sit. I, all my sciatica pain was in my groin, so there's a lot of things I couldn't do. Um, but I was just miserable all the time. Looking for a way out of pain, Janice tried at-home remedies and chiropractic care. Ice and the lidoderm patches. I started with a chiropractor, and he helped me a bit, and he finally went, yeah, I think you need to go see a doctor. <laughs> yeah, but nothing really helped. On the advice of her chiropractor, she sought medical help. However, she quickly learned that the doctors in her hometown couldn't find anything wrong and told her the pain was in her head. Then I went to the neurologist. So they did some MRIs and they went, oh, it's not that bad. So well, you can have some hydrocodone and I could get steroid shots. Well, who wants to live like that? You know, I wanted my active life back, but nobody seemed to help. I've been through radiofrequency lesioning of my sacral ganglia. I mean, I have been tortured probably beyond reason. I've had Botox down in this area of my body. It's, it's as awful as it sounds. And, but nobody seemed to want to do anything. The scent of the shrink, you know, I have a whole list of antidepressant things I can't take, but that's how I found out. It was like, oh, you must be crazy. Here, try this. Well, this, little, this last time it was looked at, they went, oh, it's just arthritis. It's obviously not arthritis because I just got fixed. One day while watching TV, she saw the show American Medicine Today and learned about the exclusive Bonatti Spine Procedures. November of 2020, I changed news channels. I switched from that, you know, big one to Newsmax and started seeing Dr. Bonatti's weekly show, American Medicine Today, is that him? Um, and we were watching and I'm going, huh. He might be able to help me, and the more I watched, the more certain I was. Uh, I've always been certain my symptoms were nerve damage, but he helped convince me that I was not crazy, that indeed it was the nerve damage. And uh, I went and got an MRI and sent it to him. We talked to Tanya. She gave us the information, and we sent my MRI to Dr. Bonatti. And when Dr. Bonatti called me, just like on the TV, as I explained it, he called me and told me where I hurt. I was so excited. And I said, are you going to do it? Are you gonna help me do the surgery? And he said, yes, of course, I talked to you. I cried. I finally found someone to help me. They were ready to see me like the next week. I postponed it about a week just to make preparations at my end since I you know, live about 600 miles away. It was two weeks and we were down here. Janice tells us about her first impressions of the Bonatti Spine Institute. So professional and everyone is so nice. It's gorgeous. It's clean. Uh, I'm amazed. While meeting with the surgical staff to review her MRIs, Janice learned she would need multiple procedures to relieve the pain. I did meet with everybody on my consultation day. I had five vertebrae that were fixed, so I, I've always had trouble describing my pain. They would say, well, where does it hurt? And I'd say, well, from here to here. <laughs> and, but after they looked at my MRI, they went, well, no wonder she can't pinpoint her pain. But they found it. When Dr. Nowak blew him up, I actually kind of got angry because even he and I could see it was so obvious, all the bulges and damage. 
And it's like, oh, what, is he the only doctor in the world that can see this? You know, it just made me want to go get, get my money back from everyone else I've ever seen. <laughs> The targeted Benati spine procedures are performed incrementally using conscious IV sedation. This process allows for an easier recovery and faster return home. We did the first procedure Tuesday, second Wednesday, third Thursday, and then I came back the following this last Monday, and we finished up Tuesday, yesterday. My first surgery day, of course, I was very, I was very nervous because you don't know what to expect. But everybody made me feel very comfortable. They explained what was going to happen, but never did it hurt. Uh, I remember talking to the doctors a little bit, you know, and he'd say, what about here? I'd go, ah, leg, you know. <laughs> but he, he, he worked till he got all of it. Where did you feel? Right hip. Yep. Twitching in the right hip. Uh, right buttock. Down the right side of my leg. Very pleasantly surprised. The first surgery, I got relief, and every subsequent surgery, I got more relief, and I'm so excited. <laughs> I think I could tell some of the pain was relieved in the operating table, but you're, you are conscious. You're sedated, so I wasn't too sure always until the recovery room, but I could tell right away. It was, I'm still amazed. I got up and walked and they were like, wow, you're doing great. So <laughs> after you have a Bonatti spine procedure, you're just in recovery for a little bit and then you go right home. No hospital stay, no. It's just an outpatient procedure and you go home. I didn't need any braces. I just had bandages on my incisions. And um, my therapy was to walk every day. Well, how much easier can it get than that? <laughs> we were staying at a place where it was safe, flat cement to walk on, and I walked my 40 minutes every day, and I, oh, the walking makes you feel better. Now pain-free, Janice is looking forward to going home and getting back on the dance floor. If anyone else has back pain, they need to come see Dr. Bonatti, when we already have everybody we run into that's going, oh, well, you need to go see Bonatti. <laughs> so glad I found them. I love them here. They all did great. Um, but this is for anybody that has back pain. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have sat and rocked and writhed in pain every night of my life for probably 20 years. I'd like to just be able to re relax my body a little bit. <laughs> I, and go dancing. <laughs>